So I stopped learning code. If you're watching this video, you're clicking this video because you wanna know why I stopped learning how to code. Now, when I say this, okay, I don't mean that I stop coding. I don't necessarily mean that I'm not going to learn new frameworks or new languages in the future that I'm just completely done with code. But what I really mean is this, I stopped learning code. <laughs> Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have been professionally programming as a developer for about two and a half years, more than two and a half years now, to this day. And if you know me, I am someone who actually learned how to become a developer through teamtreehouse.com, and that's how I became a developer in three months. If you wanna check them out, get seven days free in the link description below. But the reason I'm making this video is that for someone like myself, who's actually been coding for more than two and a half years now, going on to three years, the three year mark, right? Which is usually the, the, the length of time it takes to become like a mid-level developer most of the time. If not a senior developer, depending on how good you are. The way I learn code, my learning style, the way it's been since the very beginning has been through Team Treehouse. Now, please take note, okay? I am not hating on Treehouse. I'm not saying don't use Treehouse. Don't use anything on the cards to uh, using resources to learning code. The reason I'm making this video is simply because I stopped learning code. Chris, you're saying you stopped learning code, but you're saying that you're still gonna learn code. So what is it that I exactly mean? What do I mean exactly is this, man. I stop learning code the way I've been learning. The way that I've been studying code the last two and a half years, one thing I've learned and from speaking with actually really good developers, speaking with people who learn code after I became a developer and are better at me than even programming now. Even when I speak to my own CTO or when I speak to the senior developer here or even the other front end developer here that I sit next to every single day, the way that they've learned to be the best developer they could possibly be. And I mean, we work on difficult projects here. We literally are, our goal is to either solve problems or not, or if not, make what we're doing even better. And as we do that at the company, what do we have to do? We have to do things we're not comfortable at. We have to think outside of the box and really make things and do things that have not been done before. So what I mean by this, the one thing that I've done that I think has really slowed down my growth as a developer was that I depended way too much on tutorials. What I'm talking about are for people who are already programmers, for people who've been coding for a couple years already, right? If not already here. Now, please note, okay, if you're just starting to learn code, you have no idea where to start, you need to learn somewhere, you need to use a resource, use a online resource to direct you on where you need to be, right? Now, what direction to go to. For example, what you need to do is that you need to be able to use places like teamtreehouse.com, or if not, if, you're, if you can't afford Treehouse, use maybe Udemy, right? But what I'm saying is this, is that for someone like myself, I depend on tutorials for so long that it got to the point where I didn't know how to learn outside of that. I did not know how to learn outside of Treehouse. I did not know how to learn code outside of Udemy or Udacity or whatever it was that I've used in the past. But what I'm trying to do now is that I want to stop learning code. Done. Of course, I'm still going to use tutorials whenever I need to, but I don't want to be dependent on that anymore. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to just learn how to use things like the API that we have online, where I don't have to always learn, depend on a specific teacher to learn. But even more than that, the way I want to be able to learn code now is simply just by building things and making mistakes. I don't want to fear failure. I wanted to embrace it. I want to embrace feeling stupid when I learn code. Because I will tell you this, if you keep trying to depend on tutorials and to build things, you will not get better. Because I'll tell you this, when you're working in a real life job, those tutorials won't help much. The way you get better is by learning Google and just learning from your mistakes, looking at the code base, look at what other people have done, communicating with other developers and asking for the suggestion on how to write something more better or if you don't know how to do it, ask for help. But if you always depend on tutorials, you will only know how to work within that circle. So what I mean that I'm going to stop learning code 
is that I'm just gonna make a goal to build things outside of that when I'm not at work. And so now, when I'm home, when I'm building and learning code on my own, when I'm at my house, when I'm in Starbucks or wherever I am, I'm gonna make a goal of what it is I want to build. Then when I think of what it is I want to build, what tools do I need to get there? That's how I'm gonna learn from now on. So I'll be making more videos on this, but I know for the thousands and thousands of followers of people who watch my videos and have been following me for the last year and a half already, and I'm making this change for myself because I want to be able to be better. Where I don't depend on tutorials to get better. I don't depend on just specific teachers, but more than anything, I want to learn on my own. I want to learn to make mistakes, and I want to be able to build things and have the confidence to know that I could do these things on my own. So yeah, anyways man, I wanted to make this a quick video. Hope everyone has a happy holidays. And that's what I mean by I'm done, that I'm done learning code. So if you want to follow my journey, and I pretty much blog how I'm learning on my Instagram, you can hit me up on Real Chris Sean at IG. But other than that, man, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. If you can, like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later. This is Chris Sean. This is Life Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace.